In this video, we'll see how to format the dashboard. Suppose if you have picked up multiple worksheets and put into your dashboards, it needs formatting. It needs proper alignment. So what are the various ways we can make our presentation much more better? Let's see that. So first of all, I'm working in the workbook dashboard format, the same data source, global superstore. I have created three different sheets where I've created different charts. The first one is I've created running total by segment. That's a running total by segment. Second is I have created sales by category and third one state sales. Why I'm showing this because I'll be using these three different charts into my dashboard and I'll show you how to format it. So first of all, I'll create a dashboard here. Click on this plus sign. A dashboard is created. Now, if you want to pull up any uh, sheet here, you can just pick up and you can just drag and drop it here itself. This is coming into small pieces. The reason is I have selected as floating from here. If I select as tiled, it will give me the entire shape. So first of all, I'll close this everything, close it. And if I select it and close it now by default in your PC, when you open it for the first time, it would be tiled. When you select and drop it here, everything will be, you know, entire space would be taken only by this chart. Again, you pick up the second one, approximate half of the space will be taken by this particular chart. But whereas if you take this floating option and if, if you pick up this chart, it will not take the entire space, but it will be a floating chart where it can take the, you know, the less space occupied by itself anywhere you can place it. So floating option is very useful at times where you want small images. Let us see that example. Suppose if I pick up here as as the state sales like this, I've dropped it here. Now I want this other two as floating charts. So I'll pick up this floating. I'll pick up this running total by sales and drop it here. Okay. I'll pick up this sales by category and I'll drop it here. Okay. This way. So I can easily find out what are the, you know, if I select any option from this places, I can find out using the interactive filter, using the, uh, you know, legends part, anything. So this makes my view easy when I'm using this, uh, the option named as floating part itself. Not only charts, but also you can work on this areas. Suppose if you want to add a web page or you want to add an image, you can just select this image and you can just drop it here itself. And I'll pick up this logo in the previous video. I've shown you tutorials point logo. If I want a web page again, I'll do the same thing pick up this web page and I can just drop it here itself. So it will ask me a URL. I'll just type as www.tutorialspoint.com and I'll click on OK. So this tutorialspoint.com, the entire browser will be open here. You can just scroll down and see entirely. So floating is very, very useful when you want to do the proper alignment. So it will take time. You can just track practice and find out how the alignment part will be working with the help of this tilt and floating. Let us see some more features. If you want to align your chart properly, let's see that. So I'll first create a dashboard, select this option as tile. Now, if I pick up this running total by sales and if I pick up this sales by category here, drown. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll try to create a filter here and based on the filter, I'll show you the changes on this part. So first thing is I'll just click on this drop down here and click on this filters category. I have created a filter for this option. And if you observe, if I select any option from here in the category, the size of this sales by category would be the same. This view would be the same. It will not change. So suppose if I select technology, if I select office supplies, the data is changing. I'm talking about the size of this window will be the same. When the this space is occupied here, I know this is wastage of space. Why cannot I, you know, auto adjust the data? If this is taking less space, I want the chart on the top should maximize. So that is auto adjustment, which this will not be done here. If I select this normal method, it will not be done here. How it can be done? If the data is less, I want the other chart to auto adjust. That can be done using this vertical filters, vertical layouts. So how do I do that? Create a new dashboard. Right now it is empty. You have to initially tell him that I have to, you know, vertically align everything. So pick up and drop it here. So this is your vertical alignment. Now you can pick up same chart. I'll first remove the, uh, I'll just go to dashboard and I'll remove the filter from here. The filter is removed. Otherwise it will be a problem again. So if I click on this dashboard three, now I'll pick up the same chart running total by sales and I'll pick up this sales by category and I'll drop it here. Anywhere. If you see, it will not give you the space. Now it will auto adjust itself. Now what I was talking about, if I put here a filter and do the same process, it will auto adjust. If you see the size of both the options here, after if I insert the filter, I'll just click on this drop down filters, filter by category, same thing, same scenario. The only difference between this dashboard and the previous dashboard was vertical filter, vertical layout was not applied there. Here I'll apply the vertical layout. Now if I deselect this technology, 
you, if you observe the size of this line chart is increased size of this one is decreased automatically office supplies again the size of this chart is being increased this one has gone down somewhere so this can be done auto adjusted why we need to do this when you go for a presentation using this f7 if i click on this button it looks better in this manner rather than you have to align manually it can be done in a proper way what we are learning about this one is we are learning about the vertical and the horizontal layout to format the data or the views or the different worksheets in my dashboard so this is very much useful so i'll come back to this new dashboard itself now i'll do it i'll just bring here as running total by sales now let's see the next part after this aligning and vertical alignment part uh, i'll show you something else if i want to format the title here so show da dashboard title if you see that's a dashboard title that is dashboard 4 if you don't want you can just simply deselect it this way you can add it if i want the dashboard title and if i want to modify edit anything double click on that place and you can edit the title so this is nothing but demo demo dashboard for title click on apply click on ok now if you see running total sales by segment which is given here if you want to modify this option that is running total sales by segment so based on the filter you can modify now how do you modify that thing so you just just double click on this place and here it is given as sheet name so based on the sheet name the data is changing here so what i can do is i can remove this everything put a backspace and here if you want you can just type as running total by i have select as running total by but this will be the title apply okay if you see running total by but based on what you are selecting this running total by if you want this to be dynamic okay how do i want it suppose if i create a filter here if i click on this drop down here and if i say as filters and if i select as category so based on the category my data is changing so if i select office supplies if you see data is changing if i select technology data is changing here so what i can do is i can just double click on this and then i can say as running total by space click on this insert and if you see these are the different options i'll select as category so running total by category whenever the category changes it would be changed here also apply okay so if you observe here running total by furniture why because my furniture is selected if i select as running total by office supplies it says running total by furniture and office supplies so the best part about this title is you don't have to modify when you keep on filtering you have to be relaxed and when you go for a presentation it is much more easier to represent this chart belongs to running total by furniture and office supplies it can be modified by anything and everything so i'll press escape key here and again if you want you just double click on this place you can you can replace this category by any option which is available here these are the segments year order and many more options if you want you can also pick up this static things like sheet name workbook name page count and so on these are also useful rest the aligning aligning parts like bold italic and different things formatting part are very easy here i can just click on apply part right so i hope you have understood how to format the different elements in your dashboard to make it much more beautiful that's all for this video